Previously on High Stakes Poker, Jason Kuhn was put in a tough spot. I guess you can just have top set. I mean, do you even have aces? I mean, it's kind of a crazy spot, man. I won't believe you, but you gotta have a big hand here. Phil Helmuth laid down the best hand. And didn't stop talking about it. Wow, five, six, seven. What the is going on here? Oh, God. It's so beautiful thing. The beautiful thing is, they understood my rats so they could improve their own play. It's the craziest I've ever seen. And all I do is win, 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 win. And they don't understand it. It's so crazy. The money they're playing for is real. It's their own money. It's coming right out of their pocket. Come on. $300,000 in cash with a four high. Mm. Now the pot is almost $550,000. And we're now looking at the biggest pot in the history of high stakes poker. I'm all in. These ladies ain't ladies unless they're your ladies. Get your hands on a monster and that's what it takes. If you got what it takes in the play. High stakes. The bar was set pretty high last episode. Let's see what tonight brings. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Las Vegas. AJ Benz along with Gabe Kaplan. It's a new group tonight with some very familiar faces. The Phils are here, Ivy and Helmuth, along with Doug Polk, one of many poker players who can't quite stay retired. We start tonight seven-handed as we wait for Tom Dwan to arrive. The left side of the table, slightly less experienced than the right which would make for an interesting table dynamic. Look, he's getting excited. Look at this. Well, you are, the, you are my yummy. You are my yummy. You got me, you, you raised me, you, you made a, a move and hit the three outer yesterday, but I don't think it's gonna happen today. There's the chip denominations, and you can see on the far right that $25,000 chip, the cranberries. When those get pushed in, you know blood is spilling. It makes a very impressive sauce. Yeah. No, you love to bluff. Are you kidding me? Uh, let me let me explain something to you. Anytime you bluff me, it will appear that a hand will appear. So you'll get more press by trying to bluff me. But Phil, so I don't actually trying. want press. Why are you here? Because it's poker. It's high stakes poker, and when we were young, this was the biggest show. So it's as true. we get older and more successful, it's a dream. Yeah. What he said. That's right. When I was young, I used to watch high stakes poker. I I, when I was young, I used to watch you. Actually. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> Today, for sure. Yeah, this cool. level, I love it. Who did I watch when I was young? Oh, boy. Captain Video. I don't know what to do against Phil And his video <laughs> ranges. Oh, it kind of hit me, like, on the way here. When you're a kid, like, I remember watching the show and, like, checking the hands out and, like, watching Phil. I'm sitting next to him. That's 6,000. Are you a Phil Ivey fan? I definitely was not. I was, I'd say, yeah, still, still am. Yeah. Here you go, Phil. You a fan? <laughs> Bill's, Bill's day is complete. <laughs> Although I'm hoping he stops. I appreciate, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm hoping he stops owning me, though. That'd be nice. <laughs> Take it easy. I mean, let me get a few through. You Four know, on the turn. <laughs> Board is given up. And Daniel says, bluff, uh, no? well, I'll give you another opportunity yeah, to bluff. You, when's the last time you bluffed me, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's you know, a costume change. Cool. I guess stuck on call. Yes, that's an interesting <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Looks like uh, Jackson stuck Pollock and Tommy Bahama <laughs> got drunk one night. And... <laughs> Bren will try a big, big, big bluff on the river again. He bets 9,500. <laughs> well, like okay. He likes the big river bluff, so I have to be smart enough to check the nuts. I don't know what board he's thinking yeah, about. The <laughs> if I had to pick there he goes. To bluff, you would be number one on the list. I know, that's why I keep winning. That's why I won 20. Oh, you want me to Four bluff? out of 25 times in the, in the cash games, although I lost twice this week. We get a look at the stack sizes at the table presented by Poker King. Modest by high stakes standards, but this group is just getting started. Over a million on the table in total with Bryn Kenny leading the way at 224,000. A couple of jacks for Kenny. He's going to raise the 1500. I think we're going to play. I think we'll actually figure it out. It's been it's been kind of loose on the. Bordy's in with a 6-4 off suit. And here comes Daniels without the CW hat with Ace Queen. We have to do two, but we can do up to like whatever we want basically. Sixes and fours for board. Who promptly bets it? And what is Bryn gonna do? I think Board would do this with any ten. Jack ten, Queen 
10, King 10. Kenny calls. He just calls. Seven on the turn. And now board checks. Hmm. Kenny bets 12,000. Board with a conservative call. Nine on the river. Maybe you want months. Eight yeah, makes months. a straight. Okay. Check, check. <laughs> Good. I'm a little surprised Brent Kinney didn't raise on the flop, but it turned out good for him. Ha did he draw that seat? Or was it? Uh, where's the f did, did he draw that? Did Board draw that seat? Did someone see him draw the f number? <laughs> now, Phil Helmuth is putting in some kind of complaint as to how board what quite understand <laughs> like, you just want i'll get you a wizard i'm going to get you some plenty <laughs> yeah yeah i want you in the game but i don't want you to get away with a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. that's fair is that a fair answer <laughs> yeah, so fair. i'm just you want me so to you be honest he, right he wants check. the bullshit. it's not you to get away with it right 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 i want you to keep playing four six yeah. options is especially against me here? is somebody coming here Thomas. Oh, oh, great. Perfect. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can bluff off another 175,000 to him. It was only yesterday. 171, Phil. 171. Yeah, round up. That was off. Okay. Phil is talking about a hand on the last show where Daniels bluffed off 171,000 to Tom Drawn, who made a flush on the river. 40,000 on a flush draw or some, something, right? I was there. I was there. <laughs> I still don't know why Phil Helmuth no. complained about where uh, board is sitting. Miami. Right. And I've been living in Northern California in the past since like August. From in the Bayou. Oh. What? Oh, Where? More north. Is it? Like Wait. close to the Oregon border. I know what you mean. Yeah. What the hell is up there? <laughs> <laughs> Queen 5-3 the the in the flop. Oh, nice. Nah, no, Queen's for nice poke. Life. Yeah, it's really nice. Brain Kenny misses and fires really 1,000. Really nice. I think that's the smallest bet, problem. really. I've seen this season on high stakes poker. It is absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Online poker. But you could have some nice air, some deuce on the turn. Nice living, nice water. Bring Kenny picks up a flush Away draw. From the world. You win. I just Don't bet it. And he bets forty five hundred. Doug Polk's going nowhere. Maybe he's thinking about raising. Just gonna call. Brain Kenny needs a club. Did you hit it? That's it. Has a 10. He might think his 10 is good. Yeah. Check down. Queens can play. No, he realizes that the 10 was probably no good. Doug Trappy Trappy Poke. Oh, yeah. Huge trap here. Yeah. Mass trap. Actually, I took that out of your playbook, Phil. Okay. I take that as a compliment. Yeah. Ah. Where are the chips? Oh, so uh, what part of Northern California? Mount Shasta. Okay, my, my dad just got a place up in, um, where is it, Men Mendocino? Yeah. Is that close? It might be west. Is that Mendocino like is coast? a couple of South hours away. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hours. time for a Northern <laughs> California geography on high stakes poker. <laughs> <laughs> Going anywhere from there is far. <laughs> yeah, it's a disaster, actually. Kings for <laughs> Phil. What's he going to do here? We He's going to raise. Of course, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice that... No, he didn't raise. He just called. <laughs> Seven dudes. Makes perfect sense. Well, and Phil's just going to call. He's planning to trap Check. board. Yes, four, oh. six, ace. <laughs> six, four came again. <laughs> you imagine. That's three grand. <laughs> if he had the six, four, Phil five, didn't like so the crazy. ace. I just going to call. Over. It might already be over. <laughs> <laughs> six oh, of diamonds God. on the turn. Which makes board a flush draw. What's going on? Check card. I'm just going to bluff it off now. That's 15,000. This kind of doesn't feel fair, Bordy. You know, like. Get it? In. It doesn't feel fair. Wow. I mean, Phil is probably going to go out here. Quite unfair. Man. How's he going to explain this? I almost put the whole hundred in before the flop. He's yeah, going to explain it by the... I wish you did. Board plays bet. You really do? <laughs> yeah. If he goes out. Right, right. I don't have anything at he's all. He's showing the kings. He's going out. Good foul. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
You got me. Good play, Bordy. Thank you. What is your king? King, king. King, king. Kings, yeah. Two kings. Wow. He didn't he knock me. board. Games are good. <laughs> so you limped, you got a raise. Over you limped and got a raise and then just fought it. Huh? It looks like Bordy is really enjoying this moment. <laughs> No, he, he would have got a diamond. Yeah, Doug, if you let me get my Xbox. Wasn't that wasn't that your third yeah, book, How Not to Play Kings? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, is Phil Helmer so good that he's doing this to set them up for later? Spoken like a true man who has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. If I just if this I is how Phil sure Elmy's plays. <laughs> Nothing about fancy, later. Uh, but probably he not. doesn't take any chances. If I limped and I raced, so I, but but meanwhile I know 100 percent you're going to bluff every street. Phil, so I have I said, no idea. All right, idea. please give me no ace and you, let him bluff. You know, someone tried to reverse engineer some of my work once, and I. I have no idea how they're going to do that because I don't know what I'm thinking. Forty, what we do? <laughs> here's what we do. Forty, I play with a lot of right people. Now, I don't. Let me finish my thing, Forty. We play. I play with a lot of people like you, so we keep track of how much you're up, and then at the end of the day, we see how much I've won. Come so on, if everybody. I can, so if I get like seventy thousand in one hand, but you've bluffed me seven times. And Phil Ivey like saying, I can't believe I'm still listening still to this people. after fifteen but you can years. You feel good about yourself because you bluffed me seven times, 100%. and that's how I win the money every day almost. When you're playing wow. the world's greatest, Phil Ivey, you know. <laughs> king Jack Me 10. Meanwhile, you limped in with kings, called a raise, and folded to seven deuce. <laughs> Daniels has <laughs> best hand with a pair of turn. Wonder, wonder, and now Daniels makes the nuts. And Bryn Kinney's got the though. king high straight. Yeah. <laughs> 2,700. 2,700. I told you, we check, check in with me at the end of the day, sir. La didn't last time we played sure together, I won 100. Either way. Yeah, I don't need <laughs> With you. Kenny calls. He's saying, I don't believe yet. You bluffed me seven times that night, too, right? I think I did. Uh -huh. How'd you do that night? Five on the river. I won 100? Okay. 70 grand? Sure didn't. You were I didn't like, lose. Maybe 30 or 20 when I left. Phil, I have to say, I respect <laughs> the commitment to the shtick. Like, the shtick is on no matter what. The funny thing is, Phil's he's there, such a great human being outside going. of the table. He's a really because nice it's the truth. Yeah, that's what I love the most. The shtick's easy, because it's just the if it's the truth, yeah. It's Watch what happens. It's so simple. <laughs> Most people have figured out when I limp, like when I played with Phil and Duan. No Daniels really bets 11,000. They understood That's I'm true. limping with Kings. Immediate lay down mm -hmm. by Brent. You played like five hours. Tom Duan raised zero pots when I limped. But so you, 40 I can get. Would you, so. would you say that like you, you taught him to respect your, your limps? Yes, it worked. He, he did respect okay, him. Yeah. He did well, respect Tom him. Doesn't like to play, he he doesn't like to play. Tom knows play. how tight I play. He doesn't like to do play any pots against me. It's the only one that I can just for sure count on. Yeah, I can count, count on him. <laughs> you can definitely count on me to gamble. Not the best start for Phil Helmuth. This could get interesting quickly. Phil Ivey got up for a short break as we check out the stack sizes presented by Poker King, but Tom Dwan is still in the building. Everyone who likes to torture Phil Helmuth is here. Uh, right over here. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Dwan. And here comes Tom Dwan. How's it going? Speaking about people who like to torture helmets. Yeah, really. Yeah. I, got, I can just give you off the stack. I get it. What? I got it off my stack. It's fine. No, I think it's better if it's off. Yeah, I don't think they want that. You got it? Or just throw me. I got a cranberry. Phil's got a new outfit on today, too. He looks like a <laughs> trailer park rapper. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, how long you shorted? Oh, it's like. 15. So an hour. Like an hour. Yeah. Ice cold. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. Yesterday was the Tom Dwan show. Uh, I should have a picture of him so right now. Wednesday. Really? Wow. They, well, yeah, he went all. Yeah. So you said you won 130 Wednesday. Oh, no, that's right. You lost that. Yeah, yeah, sorry, my bad. You're up no, Wednesday he won for sure. Oh, yeah, but he, he was, was, he was stuck he was all 420 at one point. I almost gave it all back. Do you know that Tom <laughs> Dwan and Mark Zuckerberg go to the same barber? <laughs> I know they shop at same uh, hoodie store. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Same cut. Yes. Three bets to 4,400. Yeah. Well, we see some crazy pots between these two. Jay Phil Helmuth does not even think about calling well, with King 8 crazy, suited. Crazy pots against Tom but James Boyd with King 5 Jason, suited is in there. Right? That was, yeah, but that was Jason. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what it was. He just sat down. He, he just sat down. 
And then what was the handy called you with? Seven the ace deuce, a couple of spades there. Yeah. And I've made it 140% in one river. Four. Four thousand. Tawan continues with a four thousand dollar bet. Fifteen thousand. Really bored. Fifteen thousand from Bordy. Well, a you quick you raise. Like that. Very nice. And that's the end of that. It's good to put Tawan's money in somebody else's stack. It's all nice. Lend him the money. Doesn't have to be mine. It doesn't be anybody. Earlier, we spoke to James Board about trying to lead a balanced lifestyle in a poker world that makes it difficult. So at the moment, for example, I've been seriously focusing on my fitness until the last two months. I've been losing uh, in general, business and whatever, and my fitness levels decreased and I got fatter. I think all those aspects are very important as a gambler. Your health, the lifestyle, um, your bankroll management, and game selection, which I never used to do. And now I'm a bit of a fussy, much more fussy individual. You know, I'm older, I've got a family and a child, so things are different. What do you think about that, Gabe? You think Doyle Brunson worried about his fitness and his health when he was... The big papa yeah. used to work out twice a day. Worth it. <laughs> Yeah. I, played, I don't think I've missed How many one. Exhausting workouts in the back, gym. You know, I am see that one, it. fellas. See you there. I have never won one of those things. Even. Oh. Oh. I've never got past the first hour. Phil is in. Jack four of hearts. The, so tilted. Rick Solomon's like one. You, it's like 900 hours left. Or whatever. I'm, I'm good, man. Bob Safai's won one. Yeah. Rick Solomon's won Big one. Big Al. LeRon won one. Alan today. Keating's oh. one. I mean, like, because I'm, I'm seeing these things. These guys are... Uh, I like the fact, that, like for me, like as a like as a tournament player, I love it when they're trying their hardest. Six, Jack, ten, all diamonds. How about that, Brandon Steven? Brandon raised to twenty one hundred, and he's flopped the flush. Play good. I want to have somebody I know there. And James Board is going to pretend. <laughs> Queen. You know what that makes? Absolutely. What? It means he cannot lose whatsoever. Oh, he can lose. Really can be an ace king of diamonds, but he's got a straight okay. flush. All right, straight flush, yes. And James Board is taking this opportunity with his four deuce to say, I'm raising you. Now, Brandon Stevens doesn't know what, because if he does, he can felt him here. It's not the case, but I think he should raise. He just calls. Check, check on the river. He wasn't oh, going to get any more money in that hand. Oh, flush. Let's go. Didn't have another barrel in you, huh? I had value. You are, you are lucky you didn't have something there. You have the ace. That's going to be expensive. Man, that's somebody. A beautiful sight for Brandon Steven. A shiny new straight flush takes down James Board. Straight flush. It's cool. It's cool to be a part of something that, you know, you've known for so long and I think it's iconic. I think what makes high stakes poker unique is that it's got its own flavor that's a little bit more, I think, you know, kind of like high end professional cash games, an environment you don't get to see very often compared to the madness and the tournaments and everything else. You know, these are high stakes for some of the most famous players in the world, so this is the uh, cream of the crop when it comes to playing high stakes cash. It's not an attractive bluff spot when you're considering bluffing and then the guy that you're considering bluffing against is already looking to bet. The best. <laughs> He's like reaching to bet, like, no, it's on me. Okay, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> He had his hands on the chips already. I'm like, there's no point in doing this. <laughs> Pointless bluff. Whatever I bet is just dead money. We'll just and it's bored, on. too, so I mean... Let's just move on. Phil Ivey couldn't look more excited about being here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Dwan, don't ask today. We are not playing the Duke to seven yet. Can we blue pen the 6-4 game? Daniel's three bets to 3,600. Dwan's out. The problem yeah, is it's a little, it's a little too and powerful. And Doug Polk deciding what to do with his ace jack suited. I had a hand yesterday. I jumped the fence. I like Polk's style. How would you describe his style? Very, very steady Eddie.
Daniels likes to play his button. Pulp four bets to fifteen thousand. And this joker said, "Let's play deuce to seven, Phil." How was Brandon? And I said, "No, five times." <laughs> what about six four? Can we play six four? Well, I got me the deuce to seven. I bluffed twenty-five thousand off the two and of course. It's like the worst I've ever seen a beer. So shocking. Okay, <laughs> first time for everything. I I kind of expect him to be like a. I, I was maybe I would expect him to be a master Laden. Except it's very, there's also a huge EQ element too, though, right? Like, you have to think like other people think, right? Which is really a lot of people have that are brilliant are not able to do that. Correct. I mean, like, I'm a master at Laden. Really? No, I, I feel, always win. Let's be honest. Oh, you're you a master at everything. Really? <clears throat> Phil, what yeah. was your degree at college? Degree? Then you go to college. Yeah, I went. You didn't part. You didn't finish. My degree was poker, poker and accounting. No, my degree was philosophy and accounting, which was ended up being poker. So um, I actually have a, I dropped out when it was a big deal to drop out, and my dad almost killed me. I have a funny long Phil story. Phil folded so in college too. <laughs> I was on my first date. That's, with, that's where it uh, began. My fiance, we've been together for like eight years now, and she's lovely. She's she's amazing. You don't deserve her. Okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so we're on the first date, and we're like chit chatting. You know, your awkward first date stuff. And then this woman walks over to us and says, cool. um, excuse me, what date are you guys on? And I'm like, that's like a really rude question. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, it's, you know, it's a poker player thing. We're playing Laud and thinks of what date you're on and we wanted to know, obviously, yeah. like, we want to know what date you're on. I'm like, this is our first date. She's like, okay, yeah, it's like a poker thing. Like, you probably don't know what it's, it's like, what am I, I, I dated this guy, he went deep in the main event. Like, you, you, you probably don't know anything about poker. I'm like, this is really weird. It's like a really weird situation to have someone come over here and like tell me about poker on my first date with like, you know, it's, it might have kind of recognized you, but that was the awkward way of introducing yourself to you. Oh, no, but this oh. was before I was, like, known for anything. Oh, okay. This was, like, eight years ago. Nice story, but in this hand... Also, that's not how the game works. Like, okay. you, you guess... Brandon Stevens has got top pair, top hard. kicker. Yeah, yeah. And Tom Dwan's got a <laughs> gut shot, straight flush draw. Like, hey, oh, I, I noticed your date was really awkward, so I'm here to ask you if it's your first Brandon date. Brandon checks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. 14,000. That's funny. Swan bets 14,000. Yeah, I win. That's like an insult. Yeah, she was excited when it was our first. I don't think Brandon's going to raise. It's too awkward. <laughs> Maybe you will. <laughs> like sick burn. The weird thing about you and I. Well, you were right. Like, I go to like he calls. Tom needs a spade or a 10. That ain't it. Oh, I remember that, yeah. Or we'll, I'll be at another famous sport. Brandon's check. That was a, that Tom's was not going to win this pot with nine high. That's weird, man. Like, three times I've seen you. What did you say? He's been firing really last few shows. Randomly on the street afterwards. One was the, the Cubs game. Cubs game, I remember. It was funny because, like, I was, we took the picture. I was on the sidewalk and you were next to me, so everyone thought I was, like, a giant. Durr. In true helmet style. He didn't take any chances and he trapped Tom Drawn. Nice hand. I added a hundred. I had ace of spades, so I didn't think you had spades. And Brandon Steven catches Tom Dwan speeding. You know, I've been doing this for a while now, and so I've, I've got to play with all these guys for a while. Um, and they're good people. I mean, it's really awesome how you know, cool people they are. And, and I've seen them on TV before I met them. And I've been on TV enough now where people you know, probably have a bigger advantage of watching me play and picking up things on me and what I don't really get a chance study them like they probably are but I mean I think today's gonna be lighter a little lighter hearted um, but yeah I mean they're still phenomenal but hey they're still here to bluff too so you know it's more important for them to look heroish on the on the on the cameras than it is for me so I have probably less to lose today than they do what do you think Gabe is it uh, are these younger guys at a disadvantage playing on TV when I think heroish I'm thinking of a sandwich that's all I know <laughs> Big sandwich. Yeah. That's a no, heroic like sandwich. <laughs> I was in jail three days. Wow. Chesnoff had to get me out. The f thing is, my battery died before I got in there, so I couldn't phone anyone for two days. Because yeah. the phones there are so complicated, I couldn't figure out how to ring my wife. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> I'm phoning her. I was going to phone her. You were going 170. <laughs> Yeah, they said it was a felony, and I couldn't get hold of Chesnoff, yeah. my battery died, and you go there, all these... Cool. People, yeah, that's one for They know Chesney, how to use the phone, phone they've got like an ID. No 
turn and they turn up and they've done it so many times, that's great, that they, they, <laughs> they know how to use the phone, right? So I get there, I don't know, I don't have an ID number for prison or anything. You only get five minutes. I've got no common sense. It took me like five to figure out how to, to pick up the phone. Yeah. You know, so you only get five minutes every day. So the first day I bricked it off, I bricked it off the second day, and on the third day I figured it out, yeah? <laughs> and then I, got, I was like, Chessie, get me the out of here, yeah? We've probably had you but out of there in an within hour. Within an hour I was out, and then yeah. he's like, you got a court tomorrow. I said, look, man, here's 20 grand. Just I'm not going anywhere near court tomorrow, make it go away. And he, he went into court, argued the case, and they, 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 they cancelled it or whatever. He he got locked up for doing 170 well, miles an hour. That's not speeding, that's flying. Meanwhile, on this hand, Doug Polk is bet on every street, and Brandon Stevens called him on every street. Didn't believe you. And the sevens held up, he didn't believe him, and he was right. Sorry for taking so long for the call. I know, it was just... I, 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 I like to think through it sometimes. I don't know what kind of phones they got in Vegas, but... Uh, but I was locked up. Regular phone on the wall. What are you saying? I've been locked up. The phone's right there. It's a regular phone. We're very proud of you. I mean, who are you locked up for? I spent a year there one night. <laughs> it's a good one. I heard it before, but that's good. That's just what they do, and we're drinking. We're drinking Louis. We finished a bottle of Louis, and now. They're drinking Louis. This is not another jail story. No. It's a speeding story. Without jail. <laughs> yeah. And we're uh, and he's and and we're both feeling pretty good. Let's just say that. And he and Call. he has it up to 167 miles per hour at 4 a.m. Right, like coming near the Bellagio. And I just thought, man, if we had a freaking pebble, you know, okay. the world's gonna lose some pretty good poker okay. talent. You know what I mean? And 167. And 2,500. In this hand, we have we went straight to the a battle of the queens. The Bellagio. Board has the best kicker. Crap. Not my Bryn Kinney has got the second best kicker. Mr. Jim. 167. And I was just like, and it was really smooth, even at 167. Board raised, Kinney calls. Like, How'd you feel on them, McLaren? Those things are tiny. I can't fit in one. I can't believe you can fit in one. Yeah, how yeah. It's actually, how it's tight as all get out. Yeah, I, I, well, all I remember is when we were going that fast, just thinking, what in the hell are we doing? Yeah. That's a great question. Deuce on the turn. Well, I was Driving. Like 40 bets 14,000. And Bryn is thinking, is it possible I have the best hand? Could he have a 10 jack? Could he have a queen jack? When I was young, you know. Not since? And he calls. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, there was no, it was 4 a.m. on the Another deuce on the river. I will say. I mean, I've only been this book. Four checks. But, well, I, have I think he's hoping that Bryn had a draw, Texas, and he's driving. missed, and, and he will take a shot here. Car, like but Board's check up is car. making Bryn think said, he might have the best hand. Down. He bets 35000 And so he starts okay. slowing down. And then he's like, no, it doesn't. And starts speeding up. And we get closer, oh, and we're trying to read it on the board back. Board calls, and, he's like, oh, it's 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 and Bryn sees the, back, the bad yeah. news. <laughs> No, no, no. What did he have? King queen. Oh, I thought you had an ace queen. Sorry. Sorry. I thought, uh, All good. Sorry. Kenny thought he had the best hand. James Board knew better. Back in a moment. While the players took a short break, poker pro John Andrus joined the game. He replaces Phil Ivey. It's a shame we we finally we're all young, but we finally started to figure out like the like how much in, more important preparation was, yeah. you know. And, yeah, perhaps huge. But I don't think Phil Ivey played a hand. Played no, played and I just got a note from the producers. Like, well, Fascinating, but yeah. he wasn't feeling well. What so can like, you do? You yeah. Different like playability and like options to where like when you're running like. Forty's got seven. A lot of people towards one side. Of the Ladies map. and gentlemen, Doug Polk on eSports. You can play like a similar open, so that it masks like the number of people and stuff. And now his sevens run into aces. It's really nice to sit down and get a pair of aces. Mm -hmm. Five hundred. Do they like? Do they randomize like the spawns better now? Yeah. Can you, you, so you can't like predict where the other team is. Yeah. It's you know we're playing two four, right? Oh, it's a re-race. Yeah. Phil Elmuth is not going to call this time. There. His instincts are right, or his poopiness is right. Yeah, a lot of people like <laughs> just had ace jack. Play like spawn based enough, and it's yeah, a big part of the game. Check. Trips for Morty. It's not trips. Swap the set. All right. Technical. Technical. Well, we're.
technical people around here. And technically, John Andrus is really screwed in this hand. 40 raises to 10,000. It really looks like board has flopped a pair of queens. Oh. Four on the turn. How much you start with 100, right? Yeah. Board bets 30,000. Andrew should probably go all in right here. The board is getting scarier. He's only got about 50,000 more. If board is drawing, doesn't want to give him the opportunity. Now he just calls. Ace on the river. All in. All in. I call. Oh, you big back cooler that is. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Andrews got really wow. lucky there. <laughs> Man, nice start. Whoa. Nice start. I had you. What a river. That looks like it hurts. No, I knew it had aces, but what am I doing to do? He's either got aces or kings. Do. 57. No. Let's explain this exactly how you like the river. I was pretty happy. <clears throat> Welcome to the game, John Andrus. We are back at Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas for more high stakes poker. And Andrus has another <laughs> big hand. He's King Sue. Chris. Not bad at all. He raises to a thousand. Mini raise to a thousand. Four thousand. And Bordy, three bets to four grand. Bordy, who's in the mood to gamble, makes it four grand. And I feel a re raise coming on. Andrus makes it fifteen thousand. You shouldn't play this show, really, because it's bad game selection. It's really unfair. I might quit. Well, you it, might quit because he had an ace in you. No, I don't care about that. Just It's four pros and it's ridiculous. What, what are the four pros? Nine, seven, Jack yeah. on the flop. Over there. Not really tall. strong might. flop for board. I feel like. I think it's ridiculous. Board could take on the world with that board. <laughs> He's got a pair of jacks 40. and an inside straight five. flush draw. Oh, I think he it's bets. Turn one off. Andrews is gone. Don't, I don't, don't feel the C. Yeah. Turn one off, dealer. I'm in. Well, they, they took. Ivy, one him. more. I feel like I, he's I, better. Am I better than Ivy? Like yeah, like he's way better than Ivy. Well, right now we don't really want him to leave. He just took a hundred thousand from you. I'm, I'm ready for him to leave. He just, he just took a hundred thousand. I don't care. If I don't he, care. if he leaves, you might be doing him a favor. I don't care. Really? I love okay, it. What do you think I haven't of this? heard anybody complain about a, a player coming in. I really don't know what's or? happening. You know, James Ward is complaining about Andrews replacing Phil Ivy. I mean, it's ridiculous. Wardy, this game's too tough for you, is what you're saying. Oh. Uh, it's too tough for me. Hundred percent is too tough for me. Okay. I'm not entitled. Hundred percent. I'm not going to tease you, but when you when you go off like that, I have to. No, hundred percent is too tough hey, for me. You want some juice? Yeah. I just think uh, James Ward did not take that beat too well. Yeah. I don't think juice will do it. Maybe he needs uh, Xanax. <laughs> Funny people don't ever complain about me being at the table. <laughs> I mean, you want me at the table, I fold every hand. Why do you want me at the table? 40? Because you're worse than him. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want me at the table? Every big pot we play, right. three outs. Brandon Ford bets the 24,000. You're not going to ask me to leave now, are you? I had the 9-10 last hand, Dwan. I played it for you. I feel a hand developing here between Dwan and Brandon Steven. Oh, yes. Let's go. <laughs> uh, this is great. Deuce 8 5 on the flop. Steven bets 17,000. 17,
if he had queens, kings, or aces. He probably bet more, and Tom Juan thinks so too. He's raised to 44,000. 44,000. That should be it, but Brandon doesn't look like he's ready to give up. I made it 44. Where do you have anything on the jack nine seven? I, 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 I bet. I, yeah, I, I big hand. Right. Ready, big hand. I had ninth with a ten. You wouldn't have liked my hand. Brandon's gonna give it up. What is going on yeah. here? If it's six four, show it. You can show it. Yeah. Oh, That's him, boy. They just, what was it? They just, they just bluffed me all day. They just, I'm just oh. the easiest. Oh, yeah, I just bluffed you off those queens there. Uh -huh. <laughs> no? Not bigger. <laughs> you know how tight I am? <laughs> Old kings there. One of the most familiar sights in high stakes poker Tom Dwan winning pots. A look at the stack sizes presented by Poker King Phil Helmuth. Notably below $100,000, really hasn't gotten anything going tonight. I didn't even know the blow yesterday. Okay, Bordy, I'm just gonna have you drawing dead next time. It's much better. It's much better. I'm happy. <laughs> so that means you're gonna wait until like the river, right, to get him? So he's always, safe until the river. I always wait till the river. You can just kind of like, you know, know that you're safe until then. I mean, when you're playing the world's greatest, you got to get lucky. Yeah. I'll raise it. I think I heard Phil once on TV said if it was about skill, I'd win every day. Yeah, he does. And I think yeah. that was one of the best comments I've ever heard. <laughs> if it was about skill, Phil, I'd be <laughs> no, it was the opposite. So, so what'd you say? Without you had me tilting yesterday, Bordy. Without luck. Without <laughs> You had me tilting yeah, yesterday, Bordy. Was luck bad luck. I would never lose. Bordy, you had me tilting yesterday. I didn't I didn't tilt one inch, but at least you had me talking to myself. Jack nine eight. I will try what a flop. Try. Both Phil Helmuth and Doug Polk have flopped straights. The nuts and the second nuts, they check. And because Andrus isn't in the hand, James Board bets with his deuces. He bet two thousand. I don't know. All in. He's all in. I don't know. And Phil Helmuth has gone all in. I think he's gone all in here because he's putting <laughs> Doug on a draw, and he just does not want to give him the opportunity to draw at all. But let's just see how much it is first. It's about 125. Since Phil raised before the flop, I would definitely be putting him on a set. And Doug's got a call. He's flopped a straight. 90. Yeah, about 100. Oh, it's 80. This is insane. And he can't possibly be putting Phil Helmuth on Queen no, 10. you're going to take him off tilt. <laughs> He's got a call. Phil would not make this play with ace, ten of spades. I think Doug Polk is saying, would he make this play with a set? And it's not making sense to him. It's just such a monster raise. Why it is Helmuth has been all night? There was 12,000 and change in the pot. Phil, what you got over there? And Phil's gone all in and raised 90,000. Jeez. And Doug Polk looks like he's really struggling with this. Maybe he doesn't remember that Phil Helmuth raised in early position. Yeah. And would he do that even with a Queen 10 suited? 
Phil has zigged and zagged at the right time. And I think Doug's got to call him. I think he folded. This is the nut. I agree. And these guys shouldn't oh, no, be discussing no. yeah, it. Yeah, right? That doesn't sound right. No, they're making bets. We're betting. So I'm sure making a very big lay down here. Very, very big lay down. I mean, I, I could easily have, you know. What could you easily have? I don't know. You just bet a lot into very, very little. I could have a set. Could you have a set? I don't think you'd have a set here. Come on, Phil, have, you're better than that. I could have the blockers, two pens. Oh, now you're busting out blockers? God, if I fold... Doug, to fold. Yeah. I, I could I have think, the ace, ten of spades. That's very large. I think right. I'm going to fold... Can I pull your hand, Phil? No, 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 quiet. They're in the hands. Afterwards, afterwards. You can call in the middle of the hand. I don't mind. No, no, no I'm not doing Help that. Help him. I mean, I think I'm either dead... And I think that I'm dead a lot, given this. Or, like, you just have, like, a ton of equity against me. So, like, I think I can just... God. Wow, this is going to look so dumb if, if this is... God, I think you're right. Yeah, I think he's right. I, oh, yeah, I can show, right? Yeah. <laughs> this shouldn't be going what? on. Wow. Nothing. A guy is considering making the best yeah, laydown be we've wrong. ever had on high-stakes poker, and these guys are interfering with his <laughs> thought pattern. Yeah. I just... Yeah, that's why I called... Really? Yeah, I just yeah, don't think no, this is brilliant. I, I mean, <laughs> Doug Polk is being absolutely brilliant at this point. <laughs> and Phil Helmuth is realizing he should have shut his mouth and not said anything. So that's what he's going to do at this point. <sighs> this is completely absurd. He has to get through him and then he has to get through me. And then, no, this is just, this is just a fold. Wow. Wow. It's not wow. A fold. Are you crazy yeah, right unbelievable. now? Phil, can I see your eight? Oh. Hey, come on, let me see. I'm not showing my hand. Oh my Turn one off, though. Let's God. see. We're gonna see. We're Turn gonna see. Turn one off. He's got eight. Turn one off. We need to see. We've got a side on. bet, Phil. Phil, we've got a side bet. Please let's see one card. Helmuth is embarrassed. He's acting like he wants to see the other two cards because he was looking for a pair. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I can call. For some. I don't think you can fold. That's because. He has queen 10 and got queen 10. Pay the man. Let's go on the next hand. Doug Polk is one of the few people on the planet that would have folded there. I would have gave you up. You were so confident. I mean, he's risking 100K, you're in the hand, and I'm in the hand. If he's just jamming a set, it's just like the worst I think play. he's got eights. I was like nines or eights. I, I took eights, he took 10-7, you have 10-7. Hey, uh, Mr. Helmy, sir, when you saw his 10-7, did you like that? I knew, I knew when I took 10-7, I knew 100% he was calling. I had to call. You are wrong, sir. <laughs> One of the all-time missed opportunities in that last hand as we take a look at the stack sizes presented by Poker King. Phil Helmuth chips barely above 100,000 as Doug Polk avoids disaster. Next time on High Stakes Poker, Jake Daniels makes a big move on the river. Ah, oh, man, what the f What do you have there, Houston? The table is treated to a classic Phil Helmuth rant. guy. Left the money. <laughs> guy put some money in with three outs I, every I, I, hand I, I, against I me. And Tom Dwan just keeps on winning. Straights and two pairs and trips like it's nothing. <laughs>